Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the reading for Pisces. Okay. Pisces, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you on board. If you are new to watching me, welcome. If you've been supporting me from the beginning, thank you for all of your support. Um, remember though that the readings are only general. I'm only picking up on the general energies in the universe. Which means sometimes the reading will resonate and sometimes it will not. If the reading doesn't resonate, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. Or just go for a reading where the title title of the reading appeals to you. If the reading does resonate and it is something you can relate to, then I ask you to give it a thumbs up so you can help me grow the channel. All right. Ooh, nice split. Okay, very nice split. Well, um, I'm using the um, Gilded Tarot, but the Deluxe Edition, what's it called? The Royale. And look at that card. Okay, so some of you have love coming in here, and it's great love. It's really something very, very powerful here, but something you could have been waiting for. This is big, big love here. For some of you, this may be a commitment. It may be something long term. You may be receiving a proposal. You may be making a proposal. But something here is really um, presenting you with something that you really want. Now, you may be dealing with someone um, or you may be falling in love with someone who's very spiritual, very in tune here with the universe. So your person may be very psychic, very tuned in. All right, so you may be dealing with the King of Swords. How beautiful. This is a person who, you know, very much what wants what they want. They are the King. This is a person who's truthful, forthright, and very clear about what they want in their life. Very clear indeed. And they can communicate. They can communicate well. Could be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius. This person can sometimes be a little bit reluctant to show feelings. They may be a little bit unsure or unsafe because they very much are in their logical mindset. Doesn't mean they're not feeling them. All right, so we have the chariot coming through. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer who has strong air placements or an air sign that has a cancer placement. This is someone who wants to move something forward. So you may be getting a message from this person in the very near future saying, let's not wait any longer. Let's go for it. Wanna go on a date? I think it's bigger than that. And then we have the 10 of pentacles. We can just re we can just finish the reading here if you like, because that's just a perfect reading all round. The 10 of pentacles is a card that talks about abundance. Now, for some of you here, you may be receiving money through inheritance, maybe through an air sign or a cancer person. There is money being given to you here, gifted to you. For others of you, this is abundance at its best. And what I love here, look how the back of the card here, right, is in the top of the chest. Isn't that beautiful? So for me, this is about receiving something that's beyond your wildest dreams. This is either a lot of money or a lot of something coming through here. Love, generosity, definitely feeling something beautiful coming your way here. All right, and we have the Strength card. Now, the Strength card is playing a lot of games with us lately. It seems to be everywhere. I know personally, and from talking to people that have um, been doing the self-work, that the Strength card represents working on those parts of yourself that you don't feel as comfortable with. It's very much, for me, the card of shadow work. And I know a lot of people are doing this at the moment. It's also on the Gilded Tarot box behind me which makes me think with all these synchronicities here that I'm noticing this morning that spirit is very, very much with me on this journey. 
in passing the messages across to you. This is about bringing yourself into whole and completeness. This is about learning to take to tame your inner demons, your inner beasts. She has made friends with this lion. In fact, she's even got him on a chain. So it's very much that she's understanding that those parts of her, those things deep within her, are working with her now and not against her. All right, let's see where this is going. She's looking at the abundance. Okay, so we have the devil card coming through here. And a sign of Capricorn. All right, and we have the eight of pentacles. Now, this energy here with the devil has the... The strength card has her back to this. So what it says to me is this, whoever this energy is, this person has seen something here and put it behind themselves. So you could have been working to get rid of some of addiction, some codependency issues, but you're leaving them behind. You're turning your back on them now and running with your beasts. So there's definitely this energy of walking away from something that didn't serve you. And now to me, with both of these cards, you're working on your own abundance. So there's the energy here of because you're leaving behind this negative energy, you're now bringing in a lot of things that you wanted to bring in. You're manifesting here. And I love the way she's looking. See, she's looking at the crate and she's turning her back on the energy of the devil. So this is like leaving negativity behind to concentrate and focus on what's in the future. So for some of you, you may have walked away from a very toxic job here because you're turning your back on this and you're moving towards abundance. So maybe in walking away from something, you're creating a better future for yourself. All right, let's look at what else we have. All right, so we have the Four of Cups, beautiful, not wanting to do this anymore. New path opening here with the Two of Wands. And of course we have the beautiful, isn't this tower amazing? Wow, look at that. That's just stunning, isn't it? Wow. Okay. So you're walking away from something here. You may be walking away from a toxic relationship. You could be walking away from a toxic workplace there may be this great energy here with the strength and the four of cups that you know what you don't want anymore that you're putting behind things behind you rather than putting up with things you didn't need to and it's opening this beautiful new path for you here i love the way the sun is just pouring on the path here and the stag representing some new life coming through here the energy you need to go towards a new life. But the tower is here. So why is the tower here? Okay, because it's the end of a cycle here. The star card coming through to signify a new journey with the page of pentacles. This is stunning energy, Pisces. It's like you have... It's like you're, you have started to realise a lot of things about yourself that aren't true. So you may be starting to sort of let go of the energies around not believing in who you are, not seeing yourself for who you are. And I read something yesterday that said, I think one of my friends may have posted it on Facebook, and it said something like, for many years you believed in Santa Claus. Why is it so hard to believe in yourself? And that sort of hit home with me. It really did, because I remember thinking, it's true, isn't it? When do you stop believing in Santa Claus. Six, seven, eight years old, that's eight years of believing in something. But yet believing in yourself seems to be the hardest thing that you have to do. All right, I want to give this card, wow, four of pentacles coming through. This is letting go of your old beliefs here with the tower. There is this energy here of letting go of things that have held you back, toxic things. I feel like something's coming in here to help you sort of move forward. This may be new love. 
it may be a job, it may be a new um, situation, a personal business finally taking flight. There is something here that is bringing in this brand new energy for you. And I feel like it's because you've let go of past things. You've let go of your own old beliefs, your understanding. If I want to have love in my life here, I need to really understand what it is that's been holding me back. I feel like here, this may even be self-love. This may even be your own religion coming through here. You may be taking on the energy of this King of Swords and really understanding your truth. But for others of you, this is a relationship that's going to help you move forward and let go of this past stuff that's been holding you back. And maybe in this relationship or in meeting this new person, you start to understand your own value. That doesn't mean this person is adding value to you in any way, shape or form. But they may be helping you to understand that you can bring in true love. You can bring in the love you want just by letting go of the things that are holding you back. I feel like it's new love for many of you, but it could be about money too. It could be about work. It could be about business. But something you're letting go of here was holding you back. So maybe you've been in a very toxic job for a long time and thinking that you were stuck there. And the universe is saying, now that you've let go of this, we can bring you in the sort of job you want. But you're being gifted here with this Ace of Cups. All right, so we have here, oh, there you go. That says it all, doesn't it, the Lover's Card? That's why I said, I think for many of you, this is about love. All right, I don't need to say any more. We have celebration for you coming through with the magician because you are manifesting something beautiful here. And there's the world. I said, I feel like a lot of you are closing out some sort of cycle here with the tower. And that sort of confirmed it for me. So for some of you, you're cutting out the energy of being single and you're moving into a relationship. For some of you, you're cutting out this toxic energy and moving towards a new job, a new business. You now are understanding how to manifest by letting go of the old and allowing in the new. But this is about celebration. This is about understanding that these old beliefs, these old ways of thinking have trapped you completely in this energy of not being able to manifest what you want. So now you're releasing them. You're starting to bring in your dreams. You're starting to bring in the things you want here. Very, very nice energy. All right, we're going to read your card from The Journey of Love. The stars here. So you're sort of getting back on your path here with the Two of Wands. It's almost like you've been on your path, but you haven't really been achieving what you needed to achieve. And your universe is opening this new path up for you here. Wow, guardian soul family. All right, let's see what this says. 26. You have been drawn to kindred spirits in the physical world by loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not feel afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. And that's what I'm saying. You've got to get rid of the old to bring in new stuff. You may also feel that somehow relationship that seem to to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. So now you're bringing in this type of love you want. There is a great soul love calling you into a more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfill. There is love that you are to experience in connection with a particular soul predetermined by the divine plan. If you are struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you're being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing, whether that means improved communication and enriched in experience or the realisation that you have travelled as far as you can go together. And know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who help you with unconditional love right now. The guidance of this oracle for you is that a relationship healing is taking place. 
In present relationships unfolding, in attracting the right relationship for your future growth, and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved, all is well. So very much a clearing of the old here to take you into the new. That's absolutely beautiful and perfect for that reading. I love how they do that. Have a wonderful week.